Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little crochet baby dress. And you can just put one ribbon around the midriff or add another two additional ones up at the shoulder and add another additional one on the chest. So let's get started. Double crochet in the third stitch from the hook, one, two, three. And in each stitch of the chain. Okay, I have made one double crochet in each stitch of the chain. The end of the row, chain two and turn. Make two double crochet in the next stitch. One, two. One double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet. One, two. Double crochet. Like that. Repeat all the way across the row. Okay, I have done that. I've done two double crochet, one double crochet, two, one, all the way around. Now I'm going to repeat that same row. So I'm going to chain two and turn. I'm going to make two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next. Two double crochet. Okay, I have completed that step, and so now I'm going to do two more rows, and I'm going to just double crochet in each stitch across the row. And there's a little bit of rippling in this row, but that's going to correct itself in the next two rows. Okay, I've gone ahead and completed that row. The next row, I'm going to work across, and I'm going to skip for the sleeves, work across the front, skip for the sleeves, work across the back again, and this will be the center back of the dress. So I'm going to chain two and turn, and I'm going to double crochet in the next eight stitches. I'm going to skip 18, I'm going to double crochet in 18, skip 18, and double crochet in the last nine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, and then I'll show you how that looks. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've completed that row, and so you can see this will be the opening for the sleeves. And this is the center front, and then there's the back with the, with the opening. Okay, start the shell pattern. I'm going to chain two and turn. And I'm going to double crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch, I'm going to make one double crochet. In the next stitch, I'm going to make two double crochet. Like that. You're going to repeat that all the way across the row, making one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. Okay, I finished that row. Before I begin the next row, I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to turn. This is going to take the place of the first double crochet. And the next stitch is the two double crochets in the one stitch. I'm going to make three double crochet. And in the next stitch, it's a double crochet. So I'm going to make a double crochet. In the next space between the two double crochets, I'm going to make a three double crochet shell. One, two, three. And in the next double crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet. Like that. And I'm going to repeat that across the row, making one double crochet in the double crochet, making a three double crochet shell in the space between the two double crochets. Okay, I've gone ahead and completed that row, and you can see now we're making the body of the dress. And this is going to be the back opening of the dress. And two, and turn. And the double crochet is above the double crochet. And there's my three double crochet cluster. 
So in the center stitch of the three double crochet cluster, I'm going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Like that. I have four double crochets in the center of the three double crochet cluster from the previous row. In the next stitch I'm going to make one double crochet. Again I'm going to find the center double crochet of the next shell and I'm going to make four double crochet in that stitch. One, two, three, and four. One double crochet in the next double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've done that row. And so now every row is going to be predictable. In each row, we're going to continue to add one stitch in every one of the shells. So that means that this shell had four stitches and in the next row I'm going to work in the space between the two double crochets and I'm going to make five double crochets, one double crochet in the double crochet. So it'll be one double crochet here, go right to the center, five double crochets there, one double crochet here, five double crochets here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in the next row. Okay, I've completed that row and I've made a five double crochet shell. The next row I will make a six double crochet shell. Okay, and this is how the dress looks after the row of six double crochets. So now I'm going to do seven, seven double crochet shells completed. Okay, I've gone ahead and completed the row with eight double crochets in the shell. And you can see that the pattern worked the shell, a shell, a shell, a shell, a shell and double crochets all lined up. So you have double crochets lined up and the shells are all lined up like that. And now the pattern is going to change. Okay, so the next row we're going to start making these loops. I'm going to chain four, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. One, two, three, four, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Okay, so you're going to continue that all the way around. When you've worked all the way around and you have only one loop left, you're going to chain two, then you're going to double crochet in the base of that first chain four. And that's so that you wind up in the center of the loop. So now you're going to just single crochet in that loop, you're going to chain four, single crochet in the next loop, chain four, single crochet in the next loop, and you're going to repeat that around, making your second row of loops. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've completed five rows of loops. If you want to make your dress longer, you can add more rows. Since this dress is for newborn to six months and it's 14 inches long, I'm going to stop there. So now I'm going to do the sleeves. And for the sleeves, I'm just going to do a few rows of these same loops. Okay, so I'm just going to go over to one side of the underneath of the arm. And I'm going to attach the yarn in that stitch. I'm going to chain four. I'm going to skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Chain four. Skip the next, single crochet in the next. Like that. I'm going to do that all the way around and I'm going to turn and I'm going to go back. You can do as many rows as you like. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've done three rows of loops at the end of the sleeves. So now I'm just going to do a little one row of loops around the neck and I'm going to finish the back 
section for buttoning it up. And I'm going to evenly double crochet all the way around the opening until I reach the opposite side of the neck. So I've attached the yarn and I've chained two. So now I'm just going to double crochet evenly so that it doesn't pull too tightly and it's not too loose. Like that. So I'm just going to work all around the opening. Okay, I've worked one row of double crochet all the way around the opening. And now that I've reached the other opposite side of the neck, I'm going to make one row of loops. I'm going to chain four, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next, and do that all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around the neck making the loops and I fastened off when I got to the center back on the opposite side. And now I'm going to weave all the yarn ends into the finished work. Sew a button on the back and just use one of the spaces between the double crochets as a buttonhole. And there's the finished dress. So I passed a ribbon through the last row of double crochets and then tied it in the center. And here you can just pass a piece of ribbon through one of the stitches and then tie it in a bow.